Where'd you get this? Sam McCall and I were almost killed last night in an explosion. I found that on the ground. Can you can you tell me something about it? XP-11 detonator. Manufactured solely for the military. You can only get this on the black market. Whoever set that explosion wasn't kidding. good for my ego. How's the head? Where are we? At the proverbial crossroad, at least for you. This is the beginning of the last day of your life, so I suggest you make the most of it, okay? shouldn't impact you since I'm the only one to get out of this alive. Oh, come on, that's boring, you know it. Oh, you think I won't kill you, dispose of your lovely little body and go on my merry way without giving it another thought? I mean, you're most things, most wonderful things, my sweet Sam, beautiful, daring, brave, sexy, but one thing you're not is particularly bright. <laughs> you know, you can put me down for not being book smart, but I am good at reading people. Especially men, and I say particularly you. I know that you like a challenge. And you're good at scare tactics, but you would never go through with killing me. <laughs> you know, it's fascinating what twists and turns take place in that feral mind to come to oh, such an erroneous on. conclusion. Oh, You blew into town as Mr. Craig, expecting to get a score and get out. It didn't work out that way. So then all of a sudden you become Jerry Jacks who, unlike Mr. Craig, has emotional attachments to poor Charles. You would never want Jax or Alexis to know what you're capable of. But according to you, I never gave a damn about Alexis, so why would her good opinion make a difference? Uh, no, 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 listen to me. I have completely changed my mind, because I actually really do think that maybe somewhere in there you cared about her, at least enough to count, anyway. And there's absolutely no denying your feelings for Jax. His good opinion of you means the world to you. So if you were to murder me in cold blood, you would be dead to him. And you would certainly break both of their hearts. You know what, occasionally, occasionally, you have unexpected insight, you know? The prospect of my brother having a total disillusion pains me greatly, and I, I would never wreak havoc on Alexis, no. But you see, Pop Charles is closing in on me, and the prospect of a clean getaway seems very appealing. Okay, then why don't you let me help you? There is no way that you can pilot a boat this size. I can. Come on, stop making me your prisoner. Make me your ally. Hmm. It's a tempting offer. Well, why don't you think about it? We'd make one hell of a team. rest from her vigil, but I returned with haste when Stone Cold indicated he had a matter that required yeah, service. Yeah, yeah. Can you still hack into the PCP records? Like taking candy from a tot? <laughs> Four, three, what is this? A fragment of a detonator. XP-11. It can only be bought on the black market, so I need you to check the files, see if it's the same type of detonator used in the Metro Cold Explosions. Do you think that this demented one has reverted back to his dark and perhaps even more alarming Mr. Craig Ways? Well, that's what we need to find out. Fast. Sam's life could be on the line. Okay. Sam took the detonator, intending to follow up on her own. I 
called her and made sure that she didn't run into any trouble on the way home. She said she thought somebody was here. That's when the phone cut off. I came right over to check on her. She said, to, you know, that I, that I was jerking her around. She told me to stay out of her life. Uh, uh, that new and alarming information doesn't track with Fair Samantha's prior behavior. What, what exactly did she say? Well, a lot of the same stuff I heard when we broke up. She devoted her life to me. I, I used her, and she wasn't going to let me make her pathetic. I may offer a humble opinion. It appears that too much time in Stone Cold's presence proves unsettling for Fair Samantha, no doubt due to lingering and unresolved romantic feelings. Okay, you know, don't, don't, don't get sidetracked. Well, I... If she is determined to follow up on the detonator, why would she leave it behind? Uh, worried friends of brave Samantha. Why worried? Sam disappeared last night. She's not answering her cell phone. She's fine. Sam went off with one of her boyfriends. I saw her leave. Was this guy someone you've seen before? He visits on occasions. Yeah. Would you recognize him? Sure. <gasps> oh, that's him. Handsome guy. Obviously, Sam thinks so, too. <laughs> what, what do you mean by that? Oh, they were in a very amorous mood. Sam was draped all over him. <laughs> oh, I expected you to be resourceful, and you didn't disappoint. But I mean, come on, seriously. What did you think you were going to do? You can't blame me for trying to get away. I'm encouraging about my chances. See you. Good. You're actually enjoying this. Oh, my God, I am. I am. You know, you are really quite amusing. Really a lot of fun. Present. Have a look. No. Oh, so much fun. I'm afraid Ah, well. Let me show you, darling. Yeah. Want to take a look? Plastic explosive. XP-11 detonators. You remember the explosion of the Metro Court? Same stuff. <laughs> you know, don't worry. You are going out with a bang. I promise you. 